It takes 10 days for civilization to collapse. Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just 10 days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne, all Americans, hoorah! <laughs> One night, there was a, an ambush, and me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food, no radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day, I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. And it wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was... It was my test. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough.
good. Call the herd. Kill! 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 strong enough you have to get out of here before it starts again follow me second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. He can't ever go back. You understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. Truck. That truck's gotta be there. Gotta get on that truck. It's almost time. I've studied the route for weeks. The only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. You're gone. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Not yet. Oh, fuck. Fuck. No. 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 Sorry. Simple. Wasn't sure you'd come back. But I guess you're full of surprises. This squealer here ran security up at the chalet. 
Lucky for us, he wasn't that good at his job and wound up in my kiddie pool. Seems the place is being used as a training ground for the Chosen. If you've seen them in action, you know how ruthless they are. You know what Jacob taught him to use for target practice? Live bodies. Gets their first kill jitters out of the way. These motherfuckers don't value any life that ain't in their cult. And they need to be put down like the dogs they are. So you're gonna head up to that chalet. You're gonna kill every chosen you see. And you're gonna rig that building with explosives. And then we're gonna watch that whole fucking place turn into a smoldering heap of ash. Sound good to you? Check that out, will you? Understood! You see, the world has become soft and weak. We have sheltered ourselves from the obstacle.
boyfriend has my fishing rod and won't give it back. Help me get it back, would ya? You're packing, right? Shoot a couple holes in his stuff, scare the shit out of him. Put some lead in the satellite dish. my rods. You earned it. God damn. With everything that cult's been doing around here, I can't believe he thinks the best way to stay alive is to join those fucking psychopaths. He just doesn't get it. I'm trying to get us out of here. You see, there's this monster of a fish called the Admiral. Big cash reward for catching it. If I can nab that fish, it's our ticket out of this hellhole. Dylan can be such an idiot. Ugh, I need to clear my head for a bit. Only way I know how is fishing. Why don't you come with me? Could use the company and I'll teach you some angling tricks if you want. Used to go fishing up here with a group from high school. Cooler full of beers and a boat. That's all you need. They're all gone now. Either joined up willingly with Eden's Gate or, well, you know, Dylan and I are the only ones left. The spot over here is called Widow's Crick. Got its name after some chick drowned her husband. He was, like, a cheating shithead, so... He kind of deserved it. Anyways, see those midges over there? And that splash? It means there's fish begging to be caught. You did good here. Saved a lot of people. Thanks. Thing is, I know these fuckers. They're like clockwork. The trucks they send to pick up the next bunch of recruits are already on their way. I want to set up a little welcome party when they come through the front gates. We're gonna blow those trucks sky high so they'll never use them again. Whatever we do, can't let them get away. We gotta get ready.
protect you. Take care, take my big baby. Thanks. Nobody's gonna believe this. Isn't the wolf stand amazing? Eli, really? It's hardly sold into it. Jacob. 
Jacob's gonna be mighty pissed about losing this foot. success beyond his wildest dreams, Clutch Nixon leapt off the mountain and was never seen again. After months of searching, no body was ever found, and Clutch Nixon was declared legally dead. But every year, hundreds of his most loyal fans throw themselves off this very cliff as tribute to their long-lost hero. Godspeed, Clutch Nixon. You magnificent son of a bitch. God speed. It's gonna take days to clean this place up. I got the targets all set up. The record for shooting them all is 30 seconds. Let's see if you can do any better.
name of that thing. Here, you earn this. Wolf's Den food stores are getting kind of low. We should check in with Chad to see if he's found any food for us. He's the best at finding fresh meat and barbecue. Was headed for a bunker. Thanks, Deputy. I've heard there's a plane at the old Lansdowne airfield. There's always Peggy's patrolling around there. What do you say we go check it out? You think it'd be cool if when I roll up, I make one of the bald eagle screams like, <laughs> it sounded cooler in my head, actually. Not gonna die just yet. I've got more cultists to kill. Nothing like a joyride. I feel high. 
higher than a giraffe in Jamaica. Not gonna lie, this shit is straight up challenging as fuck, but we can do it. Thank you. 